Look up on a clear dark night. Far from city lights, you might see a faint glowing band stretching across the sky. It looks like a river of light, a spill of milk. This is the Milky Way, our home. For millennia, people have gazed at this celestial river, weaving stories and myths about its meaning. But what we're really seeing is our own galaxy from the inside, a disk of billions of stars. Our sun is just one among countless others, a single grain of sand on an infinite beach. When we look toward that bright band, we're peering into the densest part of our galaxy's disk, the heart of our cosmic city. The light from those distant stars has traveled for thousands, even millions of years to reach us. A message from the past. The view is breathtaking, but it's also deceptive. It makes us feel central, but we're not. We live in a quiet, suburban spiral arm, far from the brilliant core. Our perspective is limited, like looking out a window in a vast palace. We can't see the true shape of our galaxy. We're inside the machine, trying to understand it from within. This is one of astronomy's greatest challenges. The night sky is not just a collection of pretty lights. It's a puzzle, a map with most of its continents still undiscovered. Every star is a potential sun. Every patch of darkness could hide something extraordinary. The Milky Way invites us to ask, what's out there? How big is this place? Are we the only ones looking up, wondering? The answers are written in the starlight, waiting for us to learn how to read them. Our journey into the galaxy's secrets starts right here, with a simple look toward the heavens. The sky above is both a mystery and an invitation. We are explorers, standing at the edge of the unknown. The Milky Way is our home, but it's also our greatest question. As we look up, we begin the search for answers. The story of our galaxy starts with wonder, and that wonder is just the beginning. We call it the Milky Way, but what is it really? It's a galaxy, a vast spinning island of stars, gas and dust held together by gravity. We believe it's a barred spiral galaxy with a central bar of stars and great arms spiraling outward. Our sun sits in one of these arms, the Orion arm, about 27,000 light years from the galactic center. But here's the catch. We've never seen our galaxy from the outside. Imagine trying to draw a map of a city without ever leaving your house. You can guess, but you can't be sure. Every image you've seen of the Milky Way is an artist's impression, not a photograph. So how do we know its shape? We use clever techniques, measuring distances to millions of stars, mapping hydrogen gas clouds, and using infrared telescopes to peer through dust. We also study other galaxies, assuming ours is similar. The laws of physics are universal, but our view is always from within. The Milky Way could still hold surprises. Its scale is staggering, about 100,000 light years across, containing up to 400 billion stars. And that's just the stars. There are planets, moons, asteroids, comets, and vast clouds of dust and gas. It's an entire universe in itself, yet just one of billions of galaxies. The true shape and size of our home remain one of astronomy's most tantalizing mysteries. We are inhabitants of an island we have never truly seen. Our understanding is built on indirect evidence and comparison. The Milky Way's structure is a puzzle we're still piecing together. Each discovery brings us closer, but the full picture remains elusive. We are explorers mapping the unknown from within. The galaxy's true form is a cosmic secret waiting to be revealed. Our quest continues, driven by curiosity and wonder. The Milky Way's shape is more than a scientific question. It's a journey of discovery. We may never see it from the outside, but we can imagine, infer and explore. The mystery of our galaxy's shape is a reminder of how much there is left to learn. We are part of something vast, beautiful and still mysterious. The search for our galaxy's true form is far from over. Every answer leads to new questions, and the adventure continues. At the very center of our galaxy lies a monster, Sagittarius A asterisk, a supermassive black hole. It has the mass of four million suns squeezed into a space smaller than Mercury's orbit. This invisible giant is the gravitational anchor of the Milky Way. Every star, including our sun, orbits this single dark point. We can't see it directly, but we see its effects. Stars whipping around it at incredible speeds. One star, S2, completes an orbit in just 16 years, traveling at a significant fraction of light speed. These orbits reveal the black hole's mass and presence. No other object could be so massive, small and dark, but what's inside Sagittarius A asterisk? Our laws of physics break down at its center, the singularity. Some theories suggest it could be a gateway to another universe, but we simply don't know. 
The black hole's origin is a mystery, too massive to have formed from a single star. It likely grew over billions of years, devouring stars and gas. Sagittarius A asterisk is a cosmic predator, silently shaping our galaxy. Its existence challenges our understanding of gravity and reality itself. The center of the Milky Way is not a place of light, but of ultimate darkness and destruction. Yet, it is also a source of fascination and discovery. By studying Sagittarius A asterisk, we probe the limits of physics. The heart of our galaxy is a gravitational puzzle, daring us to solve it. The more we learn, the deeper the mystery becomes. The center of the Milky Way is a place where science meets the unknown. There's something strange about our galaxy. It spins too fast. The stars on the outer edges move so quickly that by all rights, the Milky Way should fly apart. But it doesn't. Something invisible holds it together. Scientists call this dark matter a mysterious invisible substance that exerts gravity but emits no light. And we know it's there because of its gravitational effects, not just in our galaxy, but in galaxies everywhere. Dark matter acts like an invisible glue, forming a vast halo around the Milky Way. Its gravity keeps our galaxy stable, yet we have no idea what dark matter actually is. It doesn't interact with normal matter except through gravity. All the stars, planets and galaxies we see make up only about 5% of the universe. Dark matter is about 27%. The rest is an even stranger force called dark energy. We're searching for dark matter in underground labs and particle colliders. But so far, it remains elusive. Some wonder if our understanding of gravity is incomplete. For now, dark matter is the leading explanation, a ghostly scaffold shaping the cosmos. The universe is mostly made of things we cannot see or touch. The search for dark matter is one of science's greatest quests. Our galaxy isn't alone. It's part of a cosmic dance pulled by immense forces. The Milky Way and its neighbors are being drawn toward a mysterious region called the Great Attractor, about 150 million light years away. We can't see it directly. The view is blocked by our own galaxy. Recent discoveries reveal the Great Attractor is the center of the Lanayakea supercluster, a continent of over 100,000 galaxies. We're not just residents of the Milky Way, but citizens of a much grander structure. Even Laniakea is being pulled by something bigger, the Shapley supercluster. Our galaxy's motion is shaped by a cosmic tug of war on an unimaginable scale. The Milky Way is on a grand journey, its path dictated by invisible giants. We are travelers in a universe of shifting tides. While local structures pull on our galaxy, the universe as a whole is expanding, and that expansion is accelerating. Galaxies aren't flying through space. Space itself is stretching, carrying them apart. This is driven by dark energy, a mysterious force making up about 68% of the universe. Scientists expected gravity to slow expansion, but instead, it's speeding up. As the universe expands, distant galaxies will eventually move away from us faster than light. Their light will never reach us. One by one, they'll disappear from view. The night sky of the far future will be dark and empty with only our local group of galaxies remaining. Future astronomers may see nothing but blackness beyond our own cluster. They might believe ours is the only galaxy in existence. The universe is slowly erasing its own history from our view. We are witnessing a cosmos in transition. The story of the universe is one of constant change. Our place in it is fleeting and precious. While distant galaxies recede, a collision is brewing close to home. The Andromeda galaxy is hurtling toward us at 400,000 kilometers per hour. In about 4.5 billion years, the Milky Way and Andromeda will collide. This won't be a crash of stars, but a cosmic dance. Galaxies passing through each other, their gravity distorting and merging them. Our solar system will likely survive, but its place in the galaxy may change forever. The night sky will be transformed, filled with new stars as gas clouds collide and ignite. After a long, chaotic process, the two galaxies will merge into a single, giant, elliptical galaxy, Milkameda. The beautiful spiral arms will vanish, replaced by a vast ball of older stars. Our galaxy has merged with others before. This will be its grandest collision. The Milky Way's story is one of constant change and renewal. We are part of a cosmic cycle of creation and destruction. The future of our galaxy is written in the stars, and the greatest act is yet to come. Amidst all this cosmic grandeur, one question remains, are we alone? 
In a galaxy of hundreds of billions of stars, most have planets, many in the habitable zone where liquid water could exist. Recent discoveries show planets are common and some may host life. Telescopes like James Webb are searching for biosignatures, gases that could indicate life. We're also listening for signals from intelligent civilizations. But so far, the universe is silent. This is the Fermi paradox. If life should be common, where is everybody? Maybe life is rare? or intelligent life is fleeting. Perhaps civilizations destroy themselves or we simply don't know how to listen. The question of whether we are alone is both scientific and philosophical. The answer, whatever it is, will change our understanding of our place in the cosmos. The search continues, driven by curiosity and hope. The galaxy could be teeming with life or we could be unique. Either way, the mystery endures and the search for life is one of humanity's greatest adventures. We stand at a remarkable moment, tiny beings on a small planet piecing together the story of the cosmos. The Milky Way is our home, our laboratory, and our greatest mystery. Every discovery opens new questions. The more we learn, the more we realize how much is unknown. We're made of stardust, the atoms in our bodies forged in ancient stars. The universe through us has become aware of itself. We look out at the galaxy and wonder, searching for answers, we are the universe's way of looking back at itself. As you gaze at the river of stars, remember the secrets it holds, the black hole at its heart, the invisible matter that binds it, and the cosmic collision that awaits. The story of the Milky Way is not just about stars and gravity, it's our story. The greatest chapters are still to be written. The mystery continues. We are explorers and the journey has only begun. The universe is looking back through us and the adventure goes on.